when you stop and think about it, how did a cigarette industry and tobacco industry gain so much biz business popularity for a product that leads to the death of half of its long-term users? Well, they normalized and glamorized this deadly product, and Robin was referring to that. With respect to conventional cigarettes, because of all the work of so many, uh, we can say that the public health community has helped to de-normalize and de-glamorize conventional uh, combustible tobacco products. And now we need more research about e-cigarettes. Uh, th there was a uh, <coughs> widely quoted study that came out of the United Kingdom a couple months ago comparing uh, e-cigarettes to standard nicotine uh, re replacement therapy in a, in a randomized trial and it showed uh, increased benefits for those randomized to the e-cigarette arm. So that was uh, very important science that contributed to, the, to this debate. That's in the United Kingdom with uh, a past generation e-cigarette device. And, but very importantly, about 80% of those who are abstinent uh, who are in the e-cigarette uh, arm stayed on e-cigarettes for uh, over a year after, after that study was uh, completed. And in short, the long-term health effects of e-cigarettes are, are simply unknown. So the concern now, especially with the youth rates going up, is that we've gone from normalization, denormalization, and now a concern that we are renormalizing all this all over again. It's, some would say this is deja vu all over again.